Hi, this is Jagan Narayan Padmanabhan. I'm director and practice leader with Crystal Infrastructure Advisory, looking at the transport and logistics sector. Today we are here to talk about the budget expectation in the transport sector and specifically in focusing on railways. In the last four years, if you were to look at the budgetary allocation, it's been at uh, growing at about 14%, uh, reaching to about 4.47 lakh crore in 2020. Out of this, railways has garnered a lion's share equal to close to 2.2 lakh crore. No other ministry has got this kind of uh, budgetary support, uh, both on GPS and an IEBR basis. Um, if we were to look about where this money is being spent, this is all being spent to increase the freight share of the railways and also on the passenger side of it. Today, the freight share is at about 30%. Uh, the, of the railway side, the rest has been taken up by the roads, which is at about close to 65%. The rest is on inland waterways and others. The idea of the railways is to increase this from 30% model to about close to 45%, and for which there is a need for increased expenditure. <clears throat> In the last five years, close to about 2 lakh crore on a consistent basis has been spent, and we expect this expenditure to increase going forward as well. The National Rail Plan also envisages this to continue uh, and by 2030 the expectation is that 45% of the total movement uh, on the freight will happen through the railways. The major expenditure of this will be in uh, doubling of the tracks, the signaling and also on the safety aspects. Um, it will be heartening to note uh, that there has not been a single death which has happened uh, on the railway track because of uh, any wrongdoing of the railways in the last 23 months. Uh, all this has happened because of the significant allocation in the expenditure for the augmentation of facilities. <clears throat> Also, uh, if you look at from the operating ratio of railways, uh, from this year, we expect that operating ratio to be better than what was there last year, notwithstanding the COVID times. Uh, this has been primarily been able to happen because of the lesser movement on the passenger segment, which has historically been a loss-making one for railways. Uh, on the freight segment, in fact, railways has done significantly better than one comparison to the last year and they expect the year to be closed with a higher freight volume than what was there for last year. Overall, the budget uh, is going to be focusing on growth, more allocation for railways and directionally, this is also an important aspect to be maintained. <clears throat>